I'd like to go through the kilohertz sweep option now. So if you were to press execute, you'd get the same data entry window as you would for any other sweep. And, and here you're defining your start and stop based on uh, uh, kilohertz. And you'll notice that it's the same frequency we used for our, our previous sweeps and the same uh, markers. So it uh, rem remembers that. One thing to note is that the sweeps function only supports a few different sweep types. Right now, impedance and crystal sweeps are not supported. So for example, if we were to execute this sweep type, which is impedance, you'll see nothing will happen. You, you return back to the main menu. It doesn't work. Same thing if we were to go over and select crystal. You'll see it's not uh, supported. And I may add that in the future. I may take away other um, sweep types from doing uh, multiple sweeps or that may change. But right now that's just uh, the way it's been configured. So let's go ahead and let's do um, different sweeps for filters. So right now I've got my 20 meter uh, bandpass filter uh, connected and we're going to go ahead and do uh, uh, several sweeps of that bandpass filter. So let's go ahead and execute that. So this works just as uh, any other sweep. There we have our markers. There's a nice bandpass filter. And I'm going to go now and I'm going to change the uh, capacitors, the, uh, the uh, tuning capacitors on the filter to adjust where the uh, pass band is going to be. So I've adjusted the capacitors, the trimmer caps on the bandpass filter. I'm going to execute another sweep. So right now my options are execute to continue. So what that means it's going to do another sweep and uh, select uh, exits out of this. So does a long rotary push. And also, too, the cursors from the rotary does not work in this mode. So you cannot, for each sweep, you cannot use manually uh, use your cursor to determine the, the values of the plot. So that does not work in the sweeps mode. So we'll go ahead and press Execute to continue. And let's see if it makes a change, the, the values, and it didn't look like it made a change, or it did, there it is in red. You can barely see it, but you can see the whole pass band shifted, and we've got much more uh, insertion loss there. So you can see that curve there in red. So, and if I was to go back and uh, tweak the capacitor again, and run another plot, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. So I've changed one trimmer cap, and let's go ahead and hit the execute button. So there now you can see the third plot here. See we've got a little bit more ripple in the pass band and we've got a heck of a lot more insertion loss and the filter width has uh, increased uh, substantially. So we could keep doing this and I believe you could do up to I think it's seven or eight sweeps and it, it'll overlay them and uh, there'll be a prompt right at the end that'll say uh, last sweep. So let's just actually see how many. So that's this is number four. This is number five. Okay, so it's six. It uh, it can only do six sweeps. So this is our last sweep. And notice it says last sweep. Uh, it'll exit at the end. So we run our, run our six sweep. And the only thing we can do is press any button to exit. And at that point, if we press any button, we'll exit out of that option.